Chicago Lighthouse Assistive Technology Center. Presents A demonstration of the OrCam My Eye from OrCam. Hello, this is Luke Scriven here at the Chicago Lighthouse, and today we're going to be talking about the OrCam My Eye, which is made by OrCam. And the OrCam My Eye is a OCR device which can take a picture of uh, text and read it aloud to you. And uh, also it has a couple of other features. It has facial recognition and it also has product recognition, which is really cool. So we're going to be having a look at those things. Now there is another version of the OrCam, which is called OrCam My Reader. And that version just has the ability to, uh, to take a picture of text and read it to you. And uh, so it does not have the facial recognition and it does not have the product recognition. And because of that, it's a little, a little bit cheaper. But we have the full version here today. And so we're going to be taking a look at what it can do. Okay, so uh, the actual device is here, and it's uh, very compact, as you can see. And it consists of two parts. We have the camera and speaker, which is this part here. And then we have the uh, control panel, which is here. And this has a rechargeable battery in it, so it can run away from power. And uh, it also has a computer inside here, which is doing the image processing and things like that. Um, when it runs out of battery, we can go ahead and charge it on the side here uh, by opening this rubber flap, and there's a charging port here uh, for when we need to charge, just like a cell phone, so that's all very simple. So what we're going to do is take the camera part here, and I have a mount which I put onto my glasses earlier, and the camera just uh, fits onto the mount very easily, and uh, once we've got it on there, it's ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead and place that onto there. Okay, so now that's clipped in, into position. The speaker, which is this part here, is on the inside next to my right ear, which is where we want it. And now I can put my glasses on. All right, and now we're ready to go. Now normally I would have the control panel clipped onto my belt and the wire would be tucked underneath my clothing so it didn't get in the way. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just gonna leave it like this. And I also have an external speaker connected to the device here so that we can hear it a little bit better. Uh, normally we would not need that because we have the speaker by the ear here so we, we can hear uh, what's happening through there. So let's take a look now at uh, how to do the OCR with the OrCam. Okay. So, OCR with the OrCam is very intuitive and straightforward. I have here a page of text and I want this to be read to me. So what am I going to do? Well, OrCam uses a very unique method of doing this and uh, that is finger pointing. Very intuitive. So all we have to do in order to have a piece of text read to us is point at it and the device will read it to us. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. Franklin's business career was a classic rags to riches story. His family in Boston had not been well to do, and as a young man in Philadelphia, he was virtually penniless by his early 40s. However, Franklin had become a prosperous man. And uh, let me stop it there. So as you may have noticed, I put the document down once the device had taken a picture. Um, so once we've taken the picture, we can uh, be hands-free and just listen to what it's reading. Um, as you could hear, it did the OCR very quickly. It was very accurate. Um, so this is a really fantastic device for doing OCR. Um, that was one method of doing the OCR. There are a couple of others that we can also use. One of them is using a button on the side of the device and uh, using the button we can just look at what we want to have read to us, press the button and it will be read to us. So let's see that. So I'm going to use the same document here. I'm going to take a picture using the button. Again, put my document down. Benjamin Franklin, 1706 I 790. I think it is fair to say that Benjamin Franklin was the most versatile genius in all of history. Astonishing but true that Franklin had highly successful careers in at least four quite separate areas. All right, let me stop it there. Um, so again, very fast with the OCR. It would have kept on reading the whole page for me if I had let it run. Um, so uh, it's really nice. Whether you want to point or use the button, it works fantastic in both ways. Uh, the one is one other way that we can do OCR, which is a bit more advanced, and it's called touch reading. And this allows us to navigate around a page um, without uh, having to listen to the whole thing. So, for example, taking this same sheet of text again, there's a number of different paragraphs here. 
and let's say that I wanted to list, uh, find a particular paragraph, I can use touch reading. All I have to do is point at where I want to start and it will start to read and then I can move my finger between the different paragraphs and it will move to the different paragraphs. So let's, uh, let's see that in action. Franklin's business career was a classic rags to riches story. It, as a scientist, Franklin is best known for the basic research he performed concerning electricity and lightning. Franklin's first literary efforts were as a successful journalist. Soon he so was as I move my finger over the page, it was, skip, it was skipping between the paragraphs. And um, we could use that on you know, whatever page we're looking at. A really nice way to navigate through text. Again, extremely intuitive. Um, so the OCR on, the, on this device is fantastic. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other features of the My Eye, which is the, the version of the Orcam that I have here. And one of those is product recognition. I have set this up um, earlier with a mug that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this mug, and we're going to point to it in, in the same way that we did with the text, and uh, we'll see what happens. Chicago Lighthouse Mug. And there we go. So uh, the device told us that was a Chicago Lighthouse mug. So I actually stored this product in uh, the database um, of the device earlier on. And we can store a number of different products in there and have them recalled um, whenever we want to. Um, so this is really useful for if you're you know, going out shopping, you're not able to see labels and, and things like that. Orcam do intend on having um, thousands of products available already in, in the device's database at some point in the near future. So you won't have to store each individual product. It will, you know, a number of products will already be there. Um, but this is a really unique feature, um, and uh, we like it a lot. One of the other really cool features about the Orcam MyEye is the facial recognition. And uh, facial recognition allows us to store people's faces in the device's database, and then the Orcam will recognize them and tell us who they are. And so we do this in a way similar, similar to how we would store products in the Orcam's database. So earlier on, I stored the face of my esteemed colleague, Bridget McDermott, who you may have seen in some of our other videos. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn towards her, and we'll see if the device recognizes her. Bridget. There we go. Fantastic. So this can help uh, get us out of some, you know, awkward social situations if, we, if we're not able to see somebody's face. So a really cool feature, and I think it will be useful. All right, so thanks very much for watching the video. I hope uh, that you found it interesting and informative. Uh, Orcam is a really fantastic product. It's extremely portable, and it's extremely subtle. People won't know that you're wearing it, and it works very well at what it does. Um, so we think it's great, and we think that you will like it too. If you would like a demo of the device, then we are doing the demos at the Lighthouse, and you can arrange one by calling 312-997-3649. And if you'd like to find out more about the device, then you can visit our online store at lighthousetoolsforliving.com, and there we will have more information about the device and about how to arrange a demo. So thanks again for watching, and have a great day.